Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Wild North Addiction. If you don't already know, my name's William, and Wild North Addiction is full of bust ups and no plan. But today, we have actually sort of got a little bit of a plan. We're actually up in the mangroves. So we've come up the creek in a local harbour, and we're in 1.5 metres of water. So, the water's murky, you can't see the bottom, it's perfect. It is blue sky and no wind, which is not so perfect. Well, it is perfect, but it's not perfect. You guys know what I mean. Um, heaps of burly, heaps of bait. We've actually got the mullet net, but we're just gonna wait a little bit until that tide comes in a little bit, because I can't um, get in the mangroves because it's low tide, like dead low tide. It's just starting to push in now, but no mucking around. Let's get straight into it, set a big burly, and let's start throwing some baits out the back. Right guys, so this is the bait bin. We've got the old Icy Tech, and she is chocker. We've got these big blue um, coeys. Look at the size of those dogs. We've got mullet, some old mullet. We've got pillies, we've got ice, we've got the cob grill. Wow, we've got everything today. We're just uh, cleaning out the bait freezer. Needs a good old clean every now and then. No mucking around, we're gonna get this burly in. All right, we got the uh, ultimate far north burly bag. And she is going in. Still burly in there from like three months ago. Haven't been bait fishing for a little while, but we got the Daiwa Free Swimmer and the Daiwa SL30 overhead with uh, BKK hooks. We'll just get this pumping for a little bit. There's a bit of current, which is good. Low tide was at 8 o'clock. And I think the time is 10 o'clock. So, perfect. Right, that belly's already starting to pump, which is mean. Oh, yeah, boy, we on. Alright, so I'm just sitting at my uh, my free swimmer here and I just went down to the shop this morning and I've got some quarter ounce ball sinkers that's just going to slide up and down the line and then I've got my 30 pound main line and then that's just the blood knot I think it's called to, I think this is 40 pound might be 60 and then just tie that on I've just got a little 5 bar row circle hook from BKK and I'll just tie that on with the uni. And then that is the rig, right there. There we go, blood knot to the main line. Little ball sinker that can slide up and down the line to a BKK circle hook. Right, I've just put a bit of skanky old mullet on. I didn't even cut it, it was just in the chili bin like that. Because all the other stuff is still frozen as. But I'll just throw that down the burley and chuck the old free swimmer mode on. Actually, no, I'm not. With a circle hook, you just want to let it load up and then you're on. So we'll chuck down the one order and we'll get this other one set up. Guys, there's a bow wave of a fish just there. I've seen it swim out. Look, there's another one there. It's heading straight for my bait. Oh look, I just watched that fish swim in, and look we're on, oh how loose is that, if this is a snap I'm going to be blown away, this is a bust up, oh, I can't get this out, look at this, guys I've been here like one minute, now I think it's a kawaii, yeah it is a kawaii, but I literally, Seeing that swim up from the creek with the bow wave and come and eat my bait. Oh my god, that's how shallow we are. That's loose. Right, I might uh, keep this one just for a bit of fresh bait and see that um, with the, without the bait runner mode, it just loaded up and uh, did exactly what a circle hook should do. Right, guys, change of plan, we're moving. 
I've been here for like an hour and, have, and I've got like one bite. So we're wasting time I reckon. But I'm definitely coming back here when it's a bit more windy and a bit more uh, overcast. But we're going to go to another spot where I've actually done another video that's uh, down on Wild North Addictions page. But so we're going to boost up there. We might even be able to set the mullet net that tide's coming in a little bit. So we'll just see what happens. But we're going to shoot up there now, pull this anchor in, pull the gear in, and go and see if we can't actually find some fish. Alright, we've just got to the spot, the second spot, because the first spot did not produce. And uh, we've just found the sandbank, it's right here. We didn't hit the sandbank, we uh, come to have a look where the sandbank was so we can fish on the edge of the channel. And the channel should be just up here. And then, um, right there. So, we'll uh, fish on the edge of the channel. Get the burly going, it's about five meters deep in the spot. And um, while well, we're just moving into the channel now. So, get that anchor down. And we're gonna start bumping a burly. Need to get something, my God. First bait's going in. I'm not gonna cast it because there's heaps of current. So I'm just gonna drop it down here. And we might even have to put a bigger sinker on. Just chuck another one of those quarter ounces on. We'll just feed this down the... Oh, we haven't even got the burly in yet. Do now. And well, hopefully we can pick up a couple of snappies. Quite a big bait, this one. Right, so we're getting a few bites. I've um, haven't actually put on a bigger sinker, but the current is harsing through here, and uh, we're in 4.7 meters, and I've just still got a little quarter ounce. But look, we have bites. Oh yeah, we on? Oh no, we're not. Just on that blue koi. That's actually that same bait that I was using over there. Just uh, got another boat that's just parked up in front of us. So, must mean we're in the right spot. Oh, yeah, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, here we go. We on. This feels like a snapper. Fighting like one, we're about to have a bust up here. Funny, that pilly hasn't even got a bite. Oh, it's a beautiful snapper coming up the back there. We're in the right spot. Hopefully we have a good session here. Check that out. Main fish. That's the first fish, boys. And you cannot complain with a fish like that to be the first fish of the trip. Ah, oh, that one hurt. Look at that BKK, it's right in the corner of its mouth. Like perfectly. It's what the old circle hook's designed to do. That's a nice fish, I don't really want to hold him up. Because, oh no, I'm not going to drop him. But we're going to let him go. How good's that? 
Yeah, boy, we on. So I've just got um, the tail of a koi, and um, I've just chopped that the actual tail off, and I'm just feeding it through the whole hook through the top of the tail, and then sort of just putting the hook in and then rolling it back on itself like that. So that's how the bait should look, and then that way it shouldn't spin. But hopefully not. And then, uh, wow. More chance of a big dog. Another fish on. How oh good, we're definitely in the spot. That's two bait, two fish in 4.8 meters of water up the harbor. Look at him, he's already on the surface. He's busting up. Man, I love fishing in shallow water. Oh, he got off right there. <laughs> Man, I love, I love fishing in shallow water up the harbour. And it's spring actually. Springtime, not winter. Anytime, there's always fish up here. Now that is a very large chunk of blue kohuru, but a three kilo snapper will still munch that back. Does a money when it hits the water. I just finished winding that rod in and it bent over, it was a good fish. Oh here we go, look, we're on. On that big chunk, man this is like Wow, this is three fish, three casts. Just round the other one in. Otherwise, I think it'll be double hookups. All this fish coming towards the boat. Look at him. This one's only a 35 centimetre. How good, eh? I love fishing up here. That was on that big chunk too. Look, that snapper would be like, probably not even a kilo. Maybe one kilo. Ate that big chunk. Just goes to show, don't be afraid to chuck on a big old bait. <laughs> it's definitely crumbs. It's definitely uh, just a bit of skin. But look, we're on. These snappers are hungry today. We've just seen we moved that to a little bit deeper water, five meters, before we were in like one and a half. And so these fish just must be holding a little bit, eh, in the channel. Well, this fish coming, this could be a car wire, this one. Oh, it's a trev. Oh, you get the dog. All right. We have a trevally. Right, we've got a trevally, eh, on the old crumbs. Now, oh, holy, holy demon. Now, unfortunately, that one's not going home. This is going to be made into raw fish for the family. So I'm gonna ick him and then bleed him out and he can just sit in the, in the back there. How good is that? Mean Trev on the old free swimmer. Right, we've uh, put a put that little bit of big sinker on and we've got a big chunk of mullet. So let's see if mullet will do the damage as well. It'll surprise me if it doesn't. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, this feels like a better one. Oh, this feels like a proper one. Oh, this feels like a real nice fish. Up the mullet. Up the mullet. Mm. 
Man, I love harbour fishing. So much. I wanted to take off. It's got a bit of weight, but there's quite a bit of current. But I'll say it'd be the best one of the day. Yeah. Definitely can't complain at a fish like that. Look at this. Good as that. How good is that? That's like a 55, 60 centimetre snap. And we're in five metres of water up the harbour. How good. You definitely cannot complain with a fish like that pulled from five metres of water. But uh, he's actually swallowed that. So with the free swimmer, oh, with the free runner, they uh, well, they're so hungry that they're swallowing circle hooks. But so we're gonna have to keep this guy. We've got ice. I'll uh, transfer that bait out of that chili bin. Get a bit of a slurry going. And well, this fish ain't gonna be going to waste. How good? Let's get another bait out. I got the hook out. So that hook wasn't actually, um, well, stuck in there. Just looked like it was a wee way down. But this fish should go. It was kicking around like crazy before. How good. What's he up to? Look at him. Snapper busting up. Just there, he's gone down. Oh, mate, got a little bit lost. Another bait going out. And, well, look at the size of that bait. Like, that's not a small bait. It's, um, it's not a big bait, but man, it's not a small bait. It's not a little cubic uh, pilly, put it that way. Bit of a run. He might be back. I think he's back. Oh, we on. He's swimming up current again. Doesn't feel like a good one. Just feels like a nice panty. Look at him out there. Quite the little fella. BKK hook. Working a treat. Right on the corner this time. And that beautiful little snapper is going home. Guys, there's a turtle over there. I just seen its head pop up. We're up the harbour in the mangoes and there's turtles busting up. Wonder what they taste like might move from here soon actually now we might actually move from here soon and go and set the mullet net but I'm pretty keen on a feed of mullet if we get a few might even take them into the smoker and uh, smoke them up for the family but where I'm gonna set the mullet net there's a snapper spot right next to it so So we can still snap a fish. Here we go. Oh, this is a nice fish. While we have the mullet net set, we can still go and catch a snapper, hopefully. This is a nice fish, actually. Definitely cannot complain with that. How good 
is snapper fishing at the moment. That BKK is right in the corner again. Absolutely stunning. Big old Manu, he has gone home. I love letting fish go, but I also love a good feed. She's shallow! Before I even carry on, I just have to stop. When I was coming through that little um, gut, little channel in the mangroves, it wasn't a channel, it was very shallow, I was seeing snappers darting off, like red snappers, probably like eight, not red snapper, but you know what I mean, about eight, nine pound. And the amount of pororia in there was just crazy. Wow, that's something I'm never gonna forget. Right, let's carry on. Right, I've just got to the mullet spot and um, that, there's actually quite a nice little light breeze now. It's sort of just pushing straight onto the mangroves. And it's, well, it's a little bit dirty. It's the most dirty that we've seen. So we're gonna buff this net out here and then go and muck around and try to catch a snap. And then, um, yeah, hopefully we get some mullet. That'd be bloody good. Busting up. That net's just feeding out the back there, at uh, the front. It's a bit of a pain by myself, it's got so much things to get caught on. But, it's all good. It's just part of it. Slowly make our way going backwards. Hopefully we're actually steering up the bottom with the motor too. Which is good. Just going backwards just to straighten it out a bit. And try and get some of the twists out of it. Right, hopefully, we all good. Here we go, we've got quite a nice set along the mangroves. All we need is a couple of mullet. No twists in it, which is good. And, um, well, let's just see what the high tide prov uh, provides. Never know. Oh yeah, there we go, look, we got one. Oh. Ah, look, got out. Ratchet. 
Oh well. One hit the net while we're still here, so just hit it right here. But old mate got out. That could have been our our uh, lunch. Might just wait here for five minutes. First fish, we've just went and set the mullet net just over there. And this is first bait. Never fished here before, it's just some random spot. And we're hopefully to snap it, feels like one. It sure is, it's just snapper. Now, I think this one's gonna come home, we're gonna have a feed. I'm gonna start taking some fish home. But this one might end up on the cob grill. So, I'm gonna give him the stab in the head. And uh, I think let's get the cob grill going. That's a beautiful fish right there. Still got some, ba we've still actually got some baits out. But we're just gonna fill it up a snapper. I forgot my chopping board, so thank you, Icy Tech. And uh, the plan for feed was to actually get some mullet and then boil them like poached mullet steaks with onion and um, whatnot. But that mullet got out while we were there. Oh, look, we're on. Yeah, while I'm filling the snapper, we've got a snapper on. How good, eh? It's only a little one, though. Oh, he got off. So, yeah, that was the plan, but um, didn't quite go to plan. So, we just, we've got some of that, um, so we've got some of that code and cook stuff that we can just have a bit of a nibble, nibble on. Got some butter. We don't have anything else, but that'll do. Back to Tangaroa. Here we go, as easy as that. Bang. Here we go, she's on. Turn it down to minimum. How good. Nice. What to do now is just chuck your fish in that, uh, this coat and cook stuff. Try to get most of the scales off. And then give it a good shake around. Bang, bang, bang. Done. Look at that. That is perfect. Straight on there like that. Might just turn it up a bit and get a bit more butter. Can't go wrong with a bit of butter. How good, easy feed. We've even got a bit of crunch this time. Oh yeah. How good does that look? That looks pretty nice if you ask me. I'm going to have a little try. Oh. 
Oh, it's quite hot. Oh my god, that is so nice. So good. So I'm going to have another little try. Give it another like two minutes. One minute, two minutes. And then uh, into it. Alright, that's done. Turn that to off. And yeah, we're just gonna eat it straight off there. Should be right. Save dishes. Everything in butter is cooked so good, I swear. Even if the butter is a bit burnt, it makes it a bit crispier. Oh man, that's so nice. You can't even explain it. You gotta, you gotta be here to experience it. Cob feeds, snapper. It's like a eight and a half out of ten. Nice. I think I was scoffing my face so much that I forgot to actually video it. But as you can see, it's an empty plate. Big old juicy bait going out. I just gave that barely a real good shake. And well, we'll see if uh, we can't catch a couple on slack tide. Ooh. We on. This one's got one too. Buster. We got two of the dogs on. Nice snapper. Nice panty. I'll just give him a quick icky. That one's not coming off, I don't think. Just gonna take a few home. Just icky that one. Get this dog in. He's come right up current. Mad dog. Look at him, he's swimming on the side of the boat. It's so shallow. Oh, we're in four meters here. A bit deeper. Look at this dog. Oh, Trevelli. It spat it right there. Well, that's unlucky, isn't it? Just screamed off the old bait runner. And it hasn't done much since. Look at that. Ah. Harbour snapper at its finest. This one's going in the bin. My uh, pop has actually requested a couple of fish. So, here we go. He's going to be a happy chappy. Right, that fishing has gone pretty slow now. That uh, tide's pretty much fully turned. We're still just sort of hanging this way with the wind. It's a bit of a pain. So we're going to call it a fishing day. But we're still going to go and check the mullet net, which is right there. And then, well, hopefully we got some mullet. Otherwise, it's going to be a bust up. But that's just fishing. You can't always get fish. So I'm going to wind these lines in, get the burly in get the anchor in and then zoom over there and hopefully we got some mullet fingers are crossed
Alright, looks like we might have a couple mullet just down the uh, down the net there a little bit. But still very slow, man. Man, my mullet sessions are going so bad lately. What am I doing wrong with this mullet? Man. Oh yes, we got a big ass parori. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm so happy about this. That's just what I bring the net for, guys. Favori. Why am I not getting any mullet? This is going to play on my mind for a while. I'm not getting any mullet. We got something up here. Oh, awesome. We got another Favori. Oh, we got two of the dogs. How good. Man, I love catching these. By the way, I'm, um, I'm taking the piss. If you can't tell. Oh, I think, oh, I even got a, we got a fourth Pawori. Oh no, that's a mullet. Oh my God, we've got a mullet. We've also got a bust up here. If you're ever dealing with Pawori, they are super sharp critters. Oh, that Pawori that just got out just swam back into the net. Super sharp, super slimy. And we're about to have a bust up here. The net's gone around the transducer and it's gone around the prop. Right, get out of there. Oh. Oh my god guys, we've got a mullet. Doing something seriously wrong with these mullet. I don't know if it's mullet season or not. Is it mullet season? The mullet have a season? I used to be really good at catching them. I just used to set the net and I just used to catch heaps of them. Going around the tranny. How's this for a bust up? Right, we're all good now, I think. What? Never mind. Big dog for that swam back into the net. Oh, I've got another mullet. Oh shit, yeah. Big mullet slay up today, boys.
Mallet session on form. Awesome mullet session. Oh, this got two, unless it wasn't just Pori. That would have been real embarrassing. Oh, well, I'm gonna say it again. But you can't always win on the mullet. But you should be able to. There's heaps of them. Right, I'm not happy. But, I mean, that's fishing. Too many times now, I've caught no mullet though. It's busting up. But anyway, we're gonna call the video there. It's, uh, we did have a bloody pretty cool session up the top of the harbour uh, this morning. And then obviously we've got a couple mullet. That's nothing to brag about. But um, don't forget to follow William the Fisherman on Instagram and also Wild North Addiction on TikTok and William the Fisherman on Facebook. And of course subscribe to the channel, like this video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, say something in the comments and then um, I can improve on the next one. Hopefully that improvement will be catching lots of mullet. But um, cheers guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next episode.